Into the digital world I go. Digimon Digital Zera. Digimon are the champions. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the most thrilling gameplay you will ever see on YouTube. I'm telling you right now. Markiplier would have never dreamed of doing something like this. Jacksepticeye never came across his mind. We only upload quality content here, ladies and gentlemen, and you are currently watching the best. Move your ass, Galbumon, you bastard. He needs to go do poopies. What is going on, YouTube universe? This is Zira, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we embark on a journey that I begun as a kid and gave up on pretty early on in its infancy because I had no fucking idea what I was doing as a kid playing this game. It is a little bit daunting if you're unfamiliar with how the mechanics work, and all these years later, as an adult, I finally get to dive back into it again. It's the first time I've touched this game since I was a kid, and it's going to be the first time I've ever completed this game. So, little Zira, mini Zira, the, the little inner child inside, he's screaming. He's so excited. Today, we begin Digimon World on the PlayStation 1. Surely you guys know what Digimon is, right? The phenomenon that swept the 90s, that gave us toys, that gave us TV shows, that gave us video games, but most importantly, gave us this. The Digimon Digivice. It serves as a Tamagotchi of sorts. You get your own little monster to look after. You gotta train it, level it up. It will Digivolve over time. You gotta clean up its poopies. You gotta make sure he eats. This is a huge factor into how Digimon World plays out because it is not your typical game where, you know, boss fights and battles and everything like we've seen in the recent Digimon games go down. This is a simple send your Digimon out, tell it to attack, make sure it's fed, make sure you take it to the toilet to do its poopies, make sure it has some rest. It literally plays out as a Digimon Digivice toy, but within a Digimon RPG style game. It was a little bit ahead of its time. I feel, and I think it caught a lot of people off guard with how it was made. So all these years later, I am so glad to be diving back into it. I've wasted enough of your time, ladies and gentlemen. It is time to dive in. It is time to digivolve. I am the digi-destined. Fucking watch me, I'm about to smash the shit out of this game. Oh, hello, Gigimon. I'm Gigimon. Tell me about yourself. Do you have a digivice? Yes and no. Now, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. My experience with this game, as I've already alluded to, is very minimal. But I do remember that you can have either one of two partner Digimon to start with. You can either have Agumon or Gabumon, depending on the answers you give to this question and the next question. To get Agumon, you need to say that you do have a Digivice and then answer yes to the next question. To get Garbumon, you need to answer no to both questions. And despite Argumon being the more popular Digimon, especially within pop culture worldwide, I've always been a bigger Garbumon fan. So we're going to start off with Garbumon. So no, I do not have a Digivice. I see. Do you have friends? No. Zero is a fucking lonely boy. All right. What's your name? I think we all know what my name is. My name's Zira, you bastard. Zira. Right. Is that correct? Am I sure I know who I am? Yes. What's your Digimon's name? I completely forgot we have to nickname our partner. All right, we're going with Yamato, which obviously is the name of Gabumon's Digimon, you know, friend, Digimon master, Matt. I think it's a good way to pay homage to the original Digidestined. Yamato, right? Yes. 
good name. That's all the questions I have. See you later. Okay, GG Mon. Whatever you say, friend. Ah, good old nostalgic 90s cinematics. I love that the main character is even wearing a beanie that has a digivice on it. All about that merchandise placement, ladies and gentlemen. I'm home. Even says digital world. I'll be home late tonight. There's pudding in the refrigerator. Oh, I love me some pudding. The hell's going on? It's my Digivice. I love that they've incorporated the real life Digivice toy within this game. It's Digimon. It's Digimon. Huh? Hello, Coromon. Uh oh. Into the digital world I go. Digimon, digital zero. Digimon are the champions. And where have we arrived? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be File City. With the ever so soothing soundtrack. Have a look at all the Digimon around me. All the rookie stage mons. Koromon. Sunomon. Biomon. Poyomon. Tanamon. Bottomon. They're all here. He's arrived. It worked. A human? Just like you said, Gigi. Hmm. Shh. He's getting up. Huh? Where am I? Welcome to Digimon World. What? Yikes! What's the matter? Who are you guys? These are Digimon. Digi... What? <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry. Huh? I thought you knew about Digimon. I got it. This is a dream. It's not a dream. Hey, wait, you're Tokomon. This is a realistic dream. Zero, this isn't a dream, but it's not real either. What are you talking about? Who are you? Rubius Hagrid, keeper of keys and grounds at Hogwarts. No, we've got, we got to stay on track. I am Digimon. I don't know any Digimon by that name. There are many more Digimon than you know of. This is Digimon World. Digimon World? This world is not a dream, and nor is it real. It's our world. Gee, it looks too real to be a dream. Look behind you. You'll see what I mean. What? Is this Yamato? Yes, it is. It's Matt, our Gabumon. I remember now, I got sucked into that Digimon keychain. That's right. Why am I here? Come to my house, I'll explain. As long as you don't try to get sexual with me, Digimon, I will come over to your house. We don't need another Bill Cosby incident going down in this bitch. I invited you here to save us. Save you from what? We are in File City. It's the center of File Island. A city? Here? Well, it was a city. There used to be all kinds of Digimon who lived here. Digimon started to lose heart and moved out of the city. What do you mean? I'm not sure what caused it. 
Digimon started losing their speaking skills. Some of them still talk, but they all forgot that they lived here. That's what you meant by losing heart. It's dangerous if we do nothing. But why me? You are good at raising Digimon, right? I'm good at it, all right. Don't you realize that you're speaking Digimon? Huh? No way, I'm speaking plain old English. To us, it sounds like Digimon. That's right! In this world, your love for Digimon will give you strength. Thanks. That's why I chose you. You can rally all the Digimon on the island. What? Hmm. You can count on me. All right. Thanks. You're our only hope, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Where do I start? Take Yamato and explore the island. Find the cause of this danger and get Digimon to come back. Let's go, Yamato. I love that he's got Digimon keychains on his wall. Wait, I haven't finished yet. This is going to be interesting because as I alluded to earlier, my knowledge of this game is uh, very limited. The one thing I do remember is we need meat. So let's go talk to Tanamon. Would you like some meat? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to explain. This is a meat farm. We grow meat for everyone. You grow meat on a farm? Yes, what's wrong? Nothing, it, it's all right, please continue. Gigi and I decided to give you three pieces of meat a day, Zira. So here's today's meat. I got three pieces of meat. Beautiful. Every time Gabumon gets hungry, we need to feed him because we don't want to have a mistake marked against his name. Mistakes can happen by not feeding your Digimon, by having them lose in battle, blah, blah, blah. Now we need to talk to Tokemon because he's got some goodies. You can have this. Good luck. I got lots of items. To look up items, press triangle, then select item and look by using the X button. Pretty, pretty self-explanatory, really. Now what we want to do, especially to set up our playthrough, is a number of things. We need to find Palmon, because Palmon, unlike Tanamon, will give us giant meat, and that is a hell of a lot more beneficial, especially given when we go to our Digimon settings. Where you see weight 15, we need to have Gabumon's weight between 26 and 28 as a condition if we want Gabumon to digivolve into Garurumon, which is what I want. Now, just like other Digimon games, your Digimon will not digivolve into what they're supposed to according to the anime. In the video games, different circumstances force your Digimon to digivolve into different Digimon, depending on, like, uh, different parameters. So, for example, I know, or at least I recall, I need to build up Gabumon's MP and speed if we want to have him evolve into Garurumon. It needs to have a weight of 26, but below 28. And we cannot have any more than one mistake. And it needs to have 90 discipline. And as you can see at the moment, discipline is very low. Discipline's the little emoji down the bottom left-hand corner with the glasses. Now, we can build his um, happiness by praising him. We can build his discipline by scolding him, which will drop his happiness, but will raise his discipline. Here's the toilet. See if he needs to go poopies. He can do poopies. So, as well as finding Palmon, we can also go look for Betamon, who will open up a shop where we can purchase meat as well. But this is the green gym. This is the training grounds. Each of these boards possesses a skill trait that we can train up. I'm going to focus on speed first. Sign training, running. Begin. Normal. Get to running, Gabumon. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the most thrilling gameplay you will ever see on YouTube, I'm telling you right now. Markiplier would have never dreamed of doing something like this. Jacksepticeye never came across his mind. 
We only upload quality content here, ladies and gentlemen, and you are currently watching the best. Move your ass, Gabumon, you bastard. The training is a little bit tedious. I will give you that. But as I said, this game really plays out like the Tamagotchi Digimon devices do. Training, feeding, cleaning up after your Digimon, having it Digivolve, fighting against other Digimon. That's basically the mechanics of this game to a T. And the story is us basically going around the island, recruiting Digimon to come back to the town, building the town back up from scratch, and defeating the bad Digimon. We've just raised 9 HP and 7 speed. Now, for speed, I think we have to break 100. So, what we can do is I'm just going to keep training him. It's going to run his health up. It's going to run his speed up. He's going to become hungry, which we have a couple of pieces of meat for. But we're not going to put him in a position where we're feeding him all the meat straight away. We don't want to make him too fat by feeding him too often. We don't want to waste the meat that we have, given we only get three pieces per day. We can find mushrooms in the overworld, which we're going to have to go look for. And as soon as he shows any signs of being tired, we have to make sure we give him rest. Because as I said, we've only got a parameter of making one mistake with him. And as I said, mistakes fall under the categories of him falling sick, him being too tired, um, losing a fight. If we get more than one mistake, we will not be able to get Garurumon as a Digimon, uh, Digivolution. And if we're doing a series where we start off with Gabumon, ideally I would like to go down the proper Gabumon Digivolution route. That's going to take us to 74 speed. I think we can afford to do one more before he gets hungry. Now, we can cut the training short, but I want to get the maximum out of the training. I want to get that full seven points of speed, nine points of HP. We don't want to hold it up. We don't want to cut it short because, A, it's a waste of time, and B, it's still going to make him hungry. And if we're feeding him for a shorter, you know, output, then we're kind of wasting our food a little bit as well. But what we're going to do is after we build up a little bit more speed, if he does get hungry, we'll feed him. If he does get tired or needs to go poopies, we'll make him go to sleep and we'll make him do his poopies. But as soon as he does get hungry, we're going to take him out into the overworld and see if we can't find some mushrooms and start taking on some Digimon. From memory, Agumon is just south of here and we can fight him pretty early. And defeating a Digimon... Under certain, certain, certain bleh, bleh, I can't even English. Certain circumstances, they will get added to our town and add something, you know, to the town as a whole. He needs to go do poopies, and he is hungry. So what we will do? We've got six pieces of meat to start with, which is great. Yeah, have your meat. He's still hungry. Let's let him do his poopies first. Are you still hungry? Yes, he is. Alright, let's go, bud. Go out into the big bad world. Now, one day will advance when we tell Gabumon to go to sleep. Oh, there's Agumon. He wants to fight. Wow. What? Now? Okay, let's fight. I don't even know what the fuck Agumon was saying. Now, because Gabumon's discipline is low, we're only going to have the option to tell him your call. So he'll either attack or defend accordingly. But as he gets a higher level, as he becomes more disciplined, we'll have the option to tell him to attack, defend. Come on, Gabumon. Get him. Yes. 
Now, as you can see, there are words or letters building up underneath his MP bar when he does successfully hit Agumon. When he spells finish, he'll be able to do a special move. Are you two just going to stand there? That's it. Get him trapped against that fucking piece of grass. He ain't going anywhere. Get fucked, Agumon. Good defense, Gabumon. Yes! We won our first fight. Good boy. Agumon drops small recovery. I lost rats. I should invite him to the city. Uh, excuse me. Could you come to the city? What? City? You mean that old place? Well... Uh, mm, well, okay, I'm Agumon. Nice meeting you. And then he's going to fuck off. Agumon joins the city. All right, it pays to try. I'll keep on asking. Don't know why you said that when we won. Now, Agumon was quite simple to take on, but I know Palmon is going to be a hell of a lot tougher. So... We need to get back to the thrilling gameplay of sending Gabumon off for a run. Because the last thing we need is to lose a life early. Every Digimon we have only has three lives. Once those three lives expire, the Digimon wipes out. And I believe if the newer Digimon games are likened to this at all, we then get a Digimon egg and we have to start from scratch. We have to start off from the baby stage and work our way up. The beauty of that is we can get a Digimon other than Agumon or Gabumon to start off with. So some people that don't want to have either of these Digimon will do a playthrough where they throw early. They lose all their lives and they get a brand new Digimon. But I don't want to go down that route. We want to stick with our boy Yamato. We want to get him to Garurumon. Hopefully, step up from there with a Where Garurumon. That'd be dope. Because Where Garurumon is one of my favorite Digimon of all time. There we go. That's another bit of speed. You a little bit hungry, boy? Have another piece of meat, my child. Now, I want to collect some mushrooms. Because we are running low on meat. And that is not a good thing to kick off with. No, we don't want to take on Betamon. Oh, there we go. So, oh no. Now's my chance. Fuck. Okay. Gabumon. We still have to heal from our last fight. That's it, Gabumon. Be a hell of a lot easier once we've got his discipline up and we can actually tell him to defend. Oh my god! Recover, recover. We're not wiping out. Hopefully we can get that finish bar up and you can see yourselves a little bit of the blue blaster. Good defense, Gabumon. Go get him. I don't want to waste the finish. There we go. Another win. Gabumon claims another victim. And we got another hundred biddies. Madoki Betamon drops small recovery. Makes up for the one we just used. Now, as you can see, not all Digimon will join our town. It's specific Digimon only. Now, as I was trying to say before we accidentally ran into trouble, as well as finding mushrooms in the overworld, we can find happy mushrooms, which are golden mushrooms. And essentially, they'll serve as 
us being able to replenish our happiness when we scold Gabumon, which as you can see, when we scold him, his discipline will increase, but his happiness decreases. And we don't want him to get too unhappy. We don't want the discipline to drop, and the discipline will drop drastically if we lose a fight. Now, from memory, this area can spawn... Nope. Some mushy rooms. No, we don't want to fight you. Palmon might be down this way, but I don't think we're ready to take her on yet. Yeah, this is... Yeah, that's, that's her right there. I don't want to do it. I don't think we are strong enough. I don't want to put ourselves in a position to lose. Dragon Eye Lake. There we go. That's a thumbnail if I've ever seen one. Very opportunistic little photo op there. Okay, I think what we're going to do is we are going to... Oh, hello, Mushroom. It's integral by the end of this episode that we get Palmon in our town. Getting her to give us giant pieces of meat to fill up our hunger bar is critical. It also allows us to get a lot more weight put on. If we can find the, illust uh, you know, the elusive and illustrious uh, Happy Mushroom, I'll be very happy. Dragon Eye Lake again. What do we got in here? I can't I can't open it. What a vending machine? My, my gosh, it's so expensive. 300 bits for a piece of meat, 600 bits for a digi mushroom. As you can see, this is why we need Palmon in File City to get those giant pieces of meat for free on the daily. Especially with all the training we've been doing. The good thing is, every time we jump between areas, there is a chance for the set to refresh and to have items spawn in. So we always want to go back and make sure we're covering all bases. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go back to uh, Green Gym. We're going to get ourselves set up a little bit more. You're hungry. At least we've got a handful of mushrooms now, so that's okay. What we might do as well is get a little bit of sleepy sleep. Make sure he's well rested. And we can do so in two ways. We can physically open up our HUD and tell them to sleep. But as you can see, it's not activated. So because he's not tired. Hello, Sunomon. Or we can go back to Gigimon's hut. And in doing so, if we talk to Punimon... I'm pretty sure Punimon will give us the option to sleep, which will also give us a refresh on certain certain parameters as well, which you're about to see. I'm Punimon. Why don't you rest here a while? One hour rest recovers HP, MP, and lowers tiredness. Now, you'll tell when your Digimon is tired because the soundtrack will change to a more sleepy tone. And now if we have a look here. Everything is okay. We're looking good. We're not far off the, uh, the hundred odd speed that we need, which is fantastic. I think for the MP, though, we need to get that up to about 1500. And then, as I said, it's then just a matter of working on happiness and discipline. Which a happy mushroom, again, will go a long way to achieving. But we will have to scold Gabumon a few times.
Okay, so I'm going to train Gabumon up. I'm not going to have you, uh, Gabumon. Did I say Gabumon? I'm going to train Gabumon up. I'm not going to have you guys endure having to watch the, you know, the game-breaking gameplay here of him running laps. And I'll bring you back once we've trained up and we're ready to take on Palmon and have her come to the village. Because, uh, I think that's the perfect way to wrap the episode up. I hope I'm strong enough level to take this thing on. We should be right. I hope. A flower. I'm a flower. I said I'm a flower, aren't you listening? Alright, Gobbimon, I need you to come in clutch. Oh shit! I don't know if that's poison. Go get it, Gabumon! We need to build up the finish so we can go for a blue blaster. That's the only way we're going to get big damage off on this Palmon. Residual damage isn't helping my case at all. Here we go. Set up for the blue blaster. There we go. Oh, Palmon was setting up for a big finish there. Come on, Gabumon. We've got it against the ropes. So I have to use all my heals on it. Oh, two HP, are you kidding? Come on! Yes! Yes! Thousand biddies! Don't mind if I do. Palmon dropped brain ship. I hate fighting. In that case, come to the city. It's peaceful there. The city? Sounds like fun. I'm Palmon. You'll find me useful. That's the plan. Palmon joins the city. Now, Tanamon moves over there and Palmon moves over here. Hi, Zero. I expanded my meat farm. I'll give you three pieces of giant meat a day. If you want extra, I'll sell it to you for 500 bits each. I'll be in charge of this farm for Tanamon. He's resting somewhere. Here's three pieces of giant meat for today. Thank you. And ladies and gentlemen, this is where today's episode will end. Hope you guys are keen to see more of this. It's a little bit tedious to begin with, but once we, you know, level up and we get our first Digivolution going and we get to champion level and we start branching out and exploring the different biomes and taking on the stronger Digimon, this game's really going to open up. And anything we do moving forward from this point is all new to me. So we're going to be undergoing this adventure together, you know, for the first time. And I think that's very exciting. Do leave a like on this video if you enjoyed. If you want to see more content like this, then hang around and hit that notification bell so you get notified every single time I drop content like this. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here. And as always, I will catch you guys next time. Hit subscribe, you bastards.